Hello there everyone uh, and welcome to today's topic um, and today we're going to be looking at one of the more complicated um, hand soldering techniques um, and that's actually soldering to, uh, to VIAs. Uh, VIAs, um, if you are wondering, uh, are the tiny little copper circles that you sometimes see on motherboards um, which don't uh, look like they've got a pad or anything attached to them, they just look like little circles usually at the end of a trace um, sometimes just popping up through the board, um, seemingly with nothing around them. Um, that sometimes, uh, when doing PCB rework, uh, that you do need to solder to. Uh, and that can be ca can be quite complicated work. Um, you know, and to be honest, when you're starting out doing these sort of things, this this is sort of like some of the hardest uh, bits and pieces that you'll do. Um, so we're going to have a look into some techniques and some little hints and tips that will help you uh, to do that more easily. Um, so let's uh, put this into a bit of context. Why might you want to do this? Well back in the days of the old PS2s and things like that, you know, fitting mod chips and things, quite often uh, you had to solder to, to these things and to be honest that's where I sort of learnt, uh, if you like, to how to how to do these things. Um, since then, of course, on the PS3s with the old plug ski, uh, programmers and things like that, where you have to solder the sort of like he uh, LPC headers and things like that to program chips, sometimes you might need to jump on one of these. Um, and the other one, of course, so let's put this in a bit of context into a modern day application on a PS4, for example. If you've watched um, the PS4 HDMI uh, PCB repair tutorial, uh, let's say, for example, you've attempted to replace your... Um, your HDMI port and you've lifted a couple of pads uh, off the board when you've when you've removed the old port uh, and now you've got uh, a couple of pads where you've nothing to solder the legs of the, the HDMI port to anymore um, and you either get snow or artifacts and interference on your picture or, you, or worse you don't get any picture at all and you've watched that video and, and you've located the pins that, that you need to solder uh, and you know and, and it's showed you that it's at the end of this little trace um, where the pad is, you've got this really tiny little circle uh, to solder to. And no matter what you do, you can't get the wire to stick to it um, to link it back to the leg on your on your HDMI port, you know, on your new one. Um, or it seems to stick, but it comes off really easily. Or you know, it seems to be there, but it's just still not working. You know, what what was what's the crap to the you know soldering to these things? They seem really difficult. And they are, um, and the, you know, there's a few reasons for that. And basically, if we take into account what a, what a VIA actually is, or a VIA, as we're going to refer to it, um, and VIAs are basically little copper sleeves, if you like, little pathways that that you know go through the various layers of the board. So if you think back, you know, when PCBs sort of like first started up, um, you know, they were single layer. They only had components on one side. You know, everything was really big and massive on there. You know, and they were fairly simple beings. But in modern electronics, uh, circuit boards, you know, have, you know, dozens, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 layers in them. You know, think about modern um, chips. So, like, you know, uh, CPUs and GPUs have hundreds uh, of connections underneath them on BGA chips. Um, you know, and there simply isn't enough space on, on, a, on a single layer board to put all those connections um, so basically what happens is, is that those connections are made on, on different layers. So underneath the layers that we can see on the top and bottom, there'll be, you know, another seven or eight layers internally within the board. Um, and basically what these vias do is think of them as little stairways between, you know, that link between the various layers. Um, so basically what happens is, is that, you know, like I can say in, in the case of the, for example, the PS4 HDMI port, um, you know, some some of these pads go to the end of a trace where there's a little via where it'll go through the board to another layer um, where it'll link in to, to another component elsewhere on the board. Um, so in this sort of instance, you know, if you need to repair that pad, you need to you need to solder to that particular VIA. You know, like I say, you know, it's a common thing in PCB rework to, you know, if you're running a link wire from one component to another because the pathway is destroyed, um, then, you know, quite a lot of the time you'll find yourself having to solder to something like this. So um, there are a few really common um, sort of simple techniques you can use to make this a lot easier for yourself um, and we're going to go through that in a second. So what we'll do is we'll join you upstairs um, 
in my little um, spare room where all the kit is. Um, and we'll have a look at a PCB. Um, in fact, we'll use one of my scrap PS4 uh, circuit boards to have a look at. Um, and we'll show you the techniques and some hints and tips that you can use to actually solder to some of the UVIAs. Uh, and then hopefully that will get you underway. So um, let's go do it. Right, okay, so we're going to have a look at um, a couple of these uh, vias here on this board. So this is our scrap um, PS4 uh, motherboard. Uh, and for this particular demonstration, we're just going to have a look uh, at a couple of these these vias. So I'm just going to try and get you some focus on that chip there. There we go. Right, so there's a couple uh, of vias uh, just around here that we're going to have a look at. So, uh, and these are particularly awkward ones because they're actually coated in solder mask. Now, on a couple of them, uh, and we'll just see if we've got one in the field of view just here, uh, and we should have. These two here, uh, you'll notice you can see the copper uh, exposed around the edges of the circles. Now those are quite easy because um, you know you, you've already got the copper exposed to a degree um, but it's the lacquer uh, coating on the board which is protecting them and, and preventing you know you from soldering to them. Uh, on these particular ones uh, just here these are the more awkward ones because they actually have the green solder mask over them as well so you need to get rid of that um, before you can start to process the via. So there's a couple of things you're going to need, uh, aside from your obvious, your solder and iron and your solder. Um, you are going to need um, a nice decent uh, flux. Now whether it's liquid or it's a flux paste, it doesn't really matter. I've used them both uh, with good success. Um, you're also going to need, um, in the cases where it's got the mask on, um, those are quite uh, stubborn. Um, sort of work with sometimes. So I'd recommend uh, using a, a fairly fine sort of uh, edged Stanley blade but be very very careful with it um, and the other thing you're going to need is sort of one of these things here now this is a fiberglass pencil uh, these are a couple of quid from most sort of electronics uh, rework shops so I don't know in, in the US probably somewhere like Radio Shack over here in the UK somewhere like Maplin uh, Farnell CPC you'll be able to get some of these things quite quite easily uh, and basically all this is is, basically, is what it is really it's a plastic pencil uh, and rather than having sort of like the, the lead of the graphite tip, you've got fiberglass and it scrapes away at the uh, at the lacquer of the board and you know and, and brings the, the bare copper through for us to solder to it. So on these um, these exposed, so the ones where you can see the copper around the edges, the larger ones, you basically just scratch uh, away at the copper um, around the edges of the via. And basically all you're looking for is, is as soon as you start to see... Um, because when, when the lacquer's over the top, of course, they look dull. Um, a quick light and only a, a very light scraping with the fiberglass pencil. As soon as you start to see the, the shiny copper come through, so as soon as you start to notice the surface below where you're scratching is shiny, then stop and you'll see there uh, that we've got a nice shiny surface. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do there is probably what I recommend you to do is get something like some, some alcohol or something like that. Um, some IPA and just give the top of where you've scratched just a little bit of a of a clean up there that just removes any sort of contaminants or fiberglass fibers now do be careful with the fiberglass pencil of course because it is basically shards of fiberglass and they are very sharp and they are a git when they get in your finger because they hurt like a splinter but they're harder to spot <laughs> um, so yeah for god's sake be careful if you're you know if you're getting those in your fingers um, and basically what I recommend you do is you get uh, the length of wire um, that you want to solder to that VIA uh, or the VIA uh, and just trim it down and we're just going to do a really quick one here for an example just going to trim the end of that and I'm going to get this piece of wire so this is just for an example I'm not going to be doing anything with this but uh, I'm just going to get a bit of solder Okay, so you just want um, you know to tin the end of your wire, nothing too 
drastic but you don't want a long lead on it either you know you, you only want to trim it quite short to the end um, because you don't want a big length of, of wire trailing from the veer because you know you'll either catch it and pull it or you know and if you pull one of these things then it's not quite so easy as just repairing a pad or you know it can be a bit of a nightmare so once you've scratched it and you've cleaned it back just pop a, a dab of flux over where you're wanting to bond you know the wire to so the via that you, you actually wanted to solder to just a drop a solder on there and then I'm going to try and do this sideways so I don't block the camera view but that's going to be incredibly difficult um, and then you'll, you'll see the solder just takes to the via uh, and that's joined on and basically if we give that a tug you'll see that that's now nice and solid and that ain't going anywhere um, if we remove the wire you'll see that there now we've basically got <laughs> rather than um, rather than being a little sort of via uh, and a little round hole there uh, we've now got a little solder pad um, so it used to be quite common back in the days when the old uh, PS2s um, and the mod chipping scene was what it was um, that people, you know, could could sort of fit a mod chip, but they didn't know what to do with the vias. So uh, places that used to sort of offer repair services and, and modern services and things like that actually used to offer a service where they would actually tin your your vias for you um, to make it easy for you to sell the two for about you know ten, fifteen, twenty quid. <laughs> you know, but you don't quite need to. So and as I say, that that's one of the bigger sort of uh, ones where the copper's exposed, which is quite easy to do. Um, and the ones where the sort of lacquer is, so once they've worked the the vias with the um, with the masking on, are a little bit harder. Uh, now you can just attack them with a fiberglass pencil, but you'll be there a while. Which is why I recommend sort of like the fine tip of a Stanley blade, um, or a craft knife, or something like that. But by Christ, be careful because if you slip or you're going too hard then you will sort of cut the traces and the tracks to the vias uh, or you cut the via off itself and you are in deep 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 trouble if you do that so we're just going to have a look at one of these two here so we're going to have a look at this one here clo you know, closest to where I'm sat so basically all you need to do is go in very very lightly and I do mean lightly with the very edge and just scrape away and you don't want to be Cutting across into the others, uh, or doing anything of that nature, you really want the lightest bit of pressure with the tip of that blade across the surface of the via. So all you're looking to do, you're not looking to cut into this, you, all you are looking to do is remove the masking. You're only looking to remove the solder mask from around the tip of that via, and as soon as you start to see that the solder mask is lifted and you start to see the copper underneath then stop because you've gone far enough if you can see that we can do the biggest part of the work with the fiberglass pencil so I'm only going in lightly here with this you know I'm not I'm not going in hard with it at all can just about start to see the copper coming through on that via now so that for me is enough so basically what we've done there is we've just removed the solder mask you'll see there now that that's nice and shiny so I'm just going to go in with a fiberglass pencil and again only lightly you don't want to do too much at this because you can actually remove the via and cut it off and if you cut it off then obviously the pathway uh, through to the other layers of the board is obviously cut off and, and your, your board won't work anymore so we'll just blow that fiberglass shard away and you'll see now there that that is nice and shiny uh, there's one next door that I was messing about with earlier um, so now we've got rid of all that 
again just a, a little dab of something to clean it up with some IPA or something like that just to go over the top just to clean it up remove any sort of contaminants any sort of shards of fiberglass or anything like that any of the the masking that you know sort of powders and flakes off that might be sat around or in the hole just brings them off so you've got a nice clean surface to bond to there now and if we get the flux and we just pop a dab of flux on there now and we're going to do the same as we did before just for this example I'm going to tin the end of the wire I'm going to be soldering to that so you'll be using your link wire And again, I'm just going to do what I did before, and and again you'll see I'm giving that a good tug now and that's not moving. I'm just going to desold it for now. And you'll see there now that the hole is actually filled with solder, and rather than the, the shiny little via there, uh, where you can see the copper, um, and the little ring there, now we've just got a nice shiny silver. Uh, effectively what is a solder pad there now um, so as long as you don't go in there with too hot an iron um, you know you don't want to be attacking these um, I mean the thing is on, on the bigger vias of course you know there's more copper there's a bigger surface area of copper there to heat so you know you're gonna need you know on the, on the bigger ones um, you might need a little bit more heat but I do mean big ones um, on something like this board here um, even sort of so-called bigger ones, you know, these, you can see the exposed rings, they really don't need that much heat at all. Um, you know, you're talking, if you're a beginner, to be honest, I wouldn't use anything more than a 15 watt iron on these. There's plenty for doing sort of like PCB work like this. If you go in there with a 50, 60, 70 watt iron um, of a solder station that's whacked up at 400 and something odd degrees, you will burn them off. Uh, and then, you know, you've given yourself a big, big headache trying to fix that. Um, you know, and one day, one day we might do a video on, on how you can fix that if you do ruin one. Um, but for now, um, the best thing is, is is to know how to prepare and solder them properly. So you don't have to come back and start doing things like that. Um, so that is how, basically, you solder uh, a via. And to be honest, it's nice and easy. And as you can see, if you've got the, the knowledge and the know-how um, and a couple of minutes of your time, and you just take your time and you're steady with it, then they're nice and easy and there's certainly nothing to be afraid of so um, like I say I hope this has proven useful to you um, please check out my other videos and if you have found this useful then please comment rate and subscribe uh, and I'll see you on the next vid okay then guys thank you very much uh, have a good evening goodbye